If one or more of the strings on your guitar breaks, or if they just get dull sounding from age, then it's time to restring the guitar. And here's how you would go about restringing a typical steel string acoustic guitar. The first step is to take off the old string. You start by loosening it on the post here. You can do this by hand, or you can do it more quickly with a string winder like this. And when it's loose enough to come off the post, you remove it like that. The other end of the string is usually attached to the bridge with a tapered pin. So to remove the string, you first need to remove the bridge pin. Sometimes you can loosen it by hand, usually not. So you need to use some kind of a tool. Now sometimes the string winder will have a little notch that can grab that string peg and then you can pull it out. The string comes out as well. The new string will have two different ends, a plain end and an end with a grommet on it. The end with the grommet is the end that goes into the bridge. And that's what you do first is to place that inside the hole and it's going to be held in place with the bridge pin. Now if you take a look at the pin, you notice a couple of things. First of all, it's tapered, so as you push it into the hole, it will get tighter and tighter until it's fully tight and holds the string in place. One more thing to notice is that there is a groove along one side of that pin, and the groove needs to line up with the string. So in other words, the groove will face towards the headstock of the guitar. So we're holding it in that position, you push it in until everything tightens up, pull on the string a little bit to make sure it's firmly seated, and now that end is ready to go. Now that the string is secured on the bridge end, you proceed to connect it to the headstock of the guitar, to the post on the machine head, and you pass the plain end of the string through the hole in that post, bring it through, not all the way tight, but leaving some slack. And you'll develop a knack for how much slack to leave. The goal is to have enough windings around the post to hold the string on well, but not so many windings that it gets messy. If you end up with two or three or four winds, that's about right. So now with the string in that hole, hold it in place where you want it with a fingertip and begin tightening the string by moving the machine head. You can bend the free end out of your way and now each wind should be proceeding downwards towards the surface of the headstock. And once again you can do this by hand or you can do it more quickly with the string crank. Keep your tension with your right hand as you wind with your left hand. Like that. Once the string is mounted on the guitar, it's a good idea to stretch it out because there's a little bit of extra flexibility in a string when it's new. If you don't stretch it ahead of time, it'll stretch while you play and go out of tune. So I'm just going to stretch this string by grabbing it with my fingertips pulling towards me and pushing the other way with my thumb. And you would just move your hand up and down different places on the string, recheck the pitch, bring it to where it's supposed to be, do that stretching technique one more time, check the pitch again. By the time you've done that a couple of times, you've pretty much taken all the stretch out of the string and it will now be stable for pitch. The final step here is to trim the free end of the string with a wire cutter tight up against the post and you're set. You use the very same technique that you used for that string for all six of the strings. And Once you've gone through all six, mounted them all, stretched them all, retuned them all, you now have your nice live sound back and you're ready to go.